Let's work through the details of creating a type definition for the coin info cluster array. I'll begin with iMac overlay text and create a constant for the string, a constant for the foreground text color, and another constant for the background text color. Done with the VI itself and the other data element that I need is a double. Just place those near each other and then put down a cluster constant and then drag all of those individual elements inside the cluster. I'll choose auto sizing size to fit and then I'm also going to do arrange horizontally. Now this is almost in the order that I want, except I need the numerical value on the far left side. And that would be known as position zero. We can reorder this way. We say click to set the element that's supposed to be first or the leftmost or zero. So I simply click that, hit the checkbox. And now that's been moved to the left side. And I like the, the ordering of everything else. Use a similar procedure to put down a frame for the array constant and then drag the cluster inside to form the cluster array. Now right click on the array and choose make type def and you notice the little black dog ear appears in the upper left corner. Open the type definition. Then we can adjust things such as the name of the cluster array. We'll call that coin info and then we can name each element. This one is the coin's value. This is the coin's name. I'm going to shorten up this name a bit and just call this simply text. And then I'll call this the background. Now I need to save this type def as a custom control. Do file save as. Make sure you're putting this inside the folders associated with your LabVIEW project and I'll call this coin info. Now close the type definition and do a save. And now we can add this as a new lane to the data highway. So I'll open the type definition for our data highway. Right click and choose select a control. And there's coin info that we just created. I'll place that inside the cluster definition for the data highway. Let's close this with the save. And now let me illustrate how you would access this lane in the data highway. Imagine we're in a particular state and we need to access this coin info array cluster. We'll use unbundle by name, choose coin info. This is an array of elements. If I wanted to pick off a single element from that array. I can use index array. And because this is a cluster that we've pulled out, we can use unbundle by name again. And now I can pick any of these four values. Finally, let's initialize this cluster array back in the QSM initialize state. I'll choose bundle by name, tap the data highway, and then replace the data highway with this updated value. Select coin info and then create a constant. And this next part can be a little bit tricky. All the controls are kind of at their minimum size right now. And what I'm going to do is stretch out the array frame size a little bit and then try to give a little bit more space so I can see what I'm typing. Point one, that would be a dime. Point one dollars, that is. Point zero one dollars, that would be a penny. Define the foreground color and the background color for each one of these. All right, and you can certainly continue then by adding as many coins as you need. And finally, 
Um, you might not necessarily need to see that index display, so you can disable that if you like. And we are ready to go.